Hi everyone, I'm Julie and welcome to DIY Chocolate Treats. Today, I'm going to compare the silicone mold and the three-part acetate mold by Porto Formas. We are going to compare these two molds based on seven categories and the goal is to show you the pros and cons so you can decide which one is best for you to buy and use. Okay, let's compare. The first category is cost. I compared one of the most popular modes, which is the sphere mode that is used to make hot chocolate bombs. These modes are very similar in price, so I would call this a tie. Now, let's look at variety. You can find a large variety of these silicone molds, especially for small chocolates. It becomes more difficult to find much variety for larger shapes. The acetate molds, on the other hand, offer hundreds of different shapes, both small and large. So, this acetate mold wins this category. The third category is ease of use. I have to say, this is where the acetate molds outperform the silicone ones. To use the silicone molds, you will need a brush and paint many, many layers. On the other hand, the three-part molds are very easy to use. You only need to pour the chocolate up to the mark and then you place the flexible part, then the third part and you are all done. That's not messy, you are not going to waste time and it's going to be very, very easy. This point goes to the acetate one. And now the next category is the finished product. The acetate molds win again. The chocolate shells that we make using the silicone mold are not even. We have to brush many, many times and many layers and sometimes it gets lumpy and it's not very beautiful inside. While the chocolate shells that we make using the three-part molds are beautiful because when we put the flexible parts, it already gets very smooth and even and it's beautiful. When it comes to speed, the acetate molds are much faster than the silicone ones. So, point for the acetate. Now, let's look at cleaning. There's not much difference in how to clean the silicone mold and the three-part molds. Warm water and a non-abrasive cloth or sponge is used for both. You can use a mild soap on the silicone mold, but not on the acetate mold. After washing and drying, you can rub both with grain alcohol to remove any final residue and to form a protective coat. The acetate molds require special attention since they can bend and even break if too much pressure is applied in the wrong way. Because the acetate mold requires extra care while handling them, the point goes to the silicone one. Our final category is storage. Both molds can last for years and can be reused many times, but they need to be stored with care. These molds are very similar when it comes to storage, so I will call this a tie. As you can see, the acetate mold wins our competition. While they are slightly more fragile and require you to be more careful when handling them, they allow you to make perfectly uniform chocolates in a large variety of shapes and sizes, much quicker and easier with far less mess. If you have any question, let us know. And if you like this video, Click the like button and stay tuned for all about chocolate treats. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.